Hello everyone, the game has had an update. Game Labs has finally released their April patch. And uh, as predicted, the gun damage is abysmal. First rates are invulnerable to fire from anything smaller than them, but you know, anything two rates lower. So here we have three fifth rates and one first rate, uh, one third rate against my first rate. This game used to be skill intensive about angling and using your, you know, timing your turns so that you would bounce as many shots as possible and do everything you could to mitigate damage. As you can see here, they have opened up full broadside and my hit points are fine. I'm not even going to try to mitigate damage. I'm just going to show you how abysmal the damage is. I'm just going to sail. I'm going to let them parallel course with me. And I'm going to sail down. And you're going to see how bad their damage is. You'll see how bad my damage is. This is the state of naval action in May. And, um... Everyone who is cheerleading this patch. I'm sorry, I've been saying this for two or three weeks that this is a bad idea. I mean, this is the war server. I don't need to rank up on the free to play server where your your progress gets wiped in the middle of June and you have to grind back up with these mechanics. Good luck getting into a third rate, because now to get into a third rate, you have to have the full crew complement. You cannot under crew smaller ships anymore. Alright. First broadside. Now... It looks like it did good damage to him. Understand his hit point values are adjusted. He has like 4,000 hit points. My ship, I don't have thicker sides. I have 30,000 hit points. Second broadside. The uh, third rate just opened up. He's managed to get a chunk into a sliver of my front armor. Oh yes, Game Lab said that you could kill first rates by stern raking them and bow raking them still, but if you were going to shoot them broadside to broadside, even with another first rate, it was going to take at least an hour to kill this ship. And I believe him. But I've also tried stern raking, and I'm really good at stern raking. I'll roll some video of showing my stern rakes, uh, you know, last week where I just crippled players by stern raking them. And you can't do that anymore. I mean, you can put uh, 60, broad, 60 balls through someone's stern in it. Half their armor is still there, which... Yesterday, you would have taken out all their stern armor, and a fair chunk of their structure, too. See? See, that third rate's got a chunky amount of armor. A hit point pool, so it's gonna take 40 minutes or so to kill him alone. So, I, I just keep sailing straight and wait for one of these fifth rates to come here, and I'll sink him. Slowly. I, I expect this to take an hour and a half to do. And that's another thing, they've scaled the experience values down for doing all this. I, uh, we'll see, I'm betting I'll come out with maybe 200 experience from this. Get out of my way, little chef, because I don't think I can see you by running you over. That would be a cool mechanic. Maybe they should do that, make it so if we ram you, we just cut you in half and you sink instantly. That, that'd be great. That. Much more entertaining than this skillless point and click. I, I, 
everyone I've talked to is pretty disgusted by this. So, I'm not gonna doll it up either and say that it's good. This is... This is atrocious and abominable. And completely what I predicted, so I'm not sure why the devs who are professional game theorists um, couldn't predict this either. So... I have no idea. Yeah, see, I don't even need to repair. I, they, they, they just can't... You know, when they have nine pound guns, it doesn't matter how many of them. By sure dent that it does nine damage, it's not gonna hurt something that has 30,000 hit points. It does not. I mean... This math is easy to do. Why can't the devs have done this before? We have a port battle coming up tomorrow. Oh, and that's a beautiful thing. Uh, they've introduced safe zones along all the coasts, so most of the map you can no longer PvP in. Because, oh, why would you want to do that? Um, they did introduce a race, so at least we got a race. We can go and race our ships all over the map because, I mean, who wouldn't find that fun? The ability to do nothing, go nowhere, and have no fun. I mean, why, why wouldn't people find that enjoyable? And the only reason I'm able to sink these fifth rates like this is their hit point values have been scaled down and you know I'm shooting at him with 70 guns here but as you can tell I am in no danger of even needing to repair and I have atrociously good repair abilities you know, so even if they got my armor halfway down I could repair it in um, snap of a finger and then it would be another 40 minutes of them getting it halfway down well we're looking forward to our port battle tomorrow. I'm, I'm sure that um, no one will die. Uh, and enemy will simply um, win by default of we can't get a thousand points within the time limit. So the battle will time out and who knows what will happen then. Uh, and, you know, yes, the safe zones that go around the coast. <laughs> the safe zones take up all the map. Pretty much. Anywhere there's a coastline except around Puerto Rico and San Juan uh, is a safe zone. Meaning you cannot, attack an en you cannot attack enemy players in that safe zone. So... We can just take our little hostility order and our whole fleet, walk up to anybody's port and plant the flag. Now they can enter the hostility order battle, but they used to be able to intercept us and stop us from getting there because the, the flags have a timer and if you, can, if you can tag them into battle enough, that timer expires and therefore you don't have to have uh, a huge fleet. You can screen out the enemy. It was a great tactic. We liked it. Um, it was an option for people who did not have a seasoned port battle team with all the best ships and all that. But they have fixed that now. Now you just need any first rate. It doesn't matter if it's DLC. It doesn't matter if it's captured. It doesn't matter if it's crafted. Um, just cap yourself in first rate and you're pretty much invulnerable to everything. And even other first rates take forever. Um, I just did a P-Zone battle fighting a, a player in a first rate. I won. You know how I won? Well, the guy went downwind, the wind shifted, the circle shrinks, and he died because the circle timer killed him. It's a wonderful way to lose a ship in the P-Zone. Now, I came out with 12,000 damage. Normally, I would have had like 50,000 damage um, yesterday before this patch, there would have been 50,000 damage. And the P-Zone is all about damage. 
That's what it's about. You do damage and you get um, combat medals. And, um, well, that's not going to work anymore. I mean, I'll show you. I, I entered this battle, I had 12,000 damage. So when I leave this battle, I'll show you how much damage. Oh, hey, speaking of safe zones. So they introduced these safe zones. And I'll show you on, them on the map after I get out. But the big ships that actually will give you some experience and some loot because the economy is now all about what you loot from a ship. That's why I'm careful to try to loot all these ships. Um, all the loot, the good loot, out of good ships is outside the safe zone. So they made these safe zones that are worthless for PvE players. They make it so PvP players can't do anything there. And uh, if you want to actually do anything in the game, rank up, get money so you can you know, progress in the game, you have to leave the safe zone. Well, I mean, we had that prior to the safe zones. You just stood, sat by the dock waited for an AI to come up to it, you tagged it right there, and then you left battle. And you had 15 minute, seconds of invulnerability. It's technically a safe zone. It, it, the only difference is you didn't have to uh, sail for 15 minutes to um, find something to find some content. Now, you're gonna have to sail 15 minutes to find content, and then boy, ho, oh, you get to fight for a whole hour. Yeah, you used to kill first rates in 10, 15 minutes. Now you get to do it for a whole hour. And the experience you get from that is negligible. Um, had a buddy who it used to be, if you fought a, a bigger ship in a smaller ship, uh, that you would get a much larger return on your for your effort. Oh, wow, look at that. He's got so much hit points. It's going to take forever to kill this guy. Oh, well. It is what it is. I'm... I'm may die to the circle before I actually kill him. It may take that long. But I mean, on the other hand, he's not going to kill me because, hey, it's it's like walruses without tusks. We're just going to bump up against each other. And maybe if someone has a heart attack, someone wins. You know, happy accidents, but not really what I'd call game design. I mean, anybody who could be accused of designing this could also be accused of being inebriated. So, wow. Uh, oh, 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 there was a chunk. We chunked his damage down. It moved. Oh, yes. The devs have a test server. They tested these mechanics out and they assured us that it worked. I'm never going to get to it because that's another mechanic I hate. The wind changes 180 degrees starting at 1 hour 15. Okay? So in 51 seconds, that wind is going to go completely opposite. And it's like a thunderstorm. You know, you, in naval action, it's so realistic. We have wet wind that moves like you're in a thunderstorm every 20 minutes. And you just have 180 degree wind shifts. This is an incredibly detailed and realistic game, people. Incredibly detailed. No, actually, they just wanted battles to get over faster. Oh, wait, but then they removed gun damage by 66% thereabouts. And now every battle is going to take an hour. Any, you know, if, if you're fighting anything that's bigger than a fifth rate. And you better fight things bigger than a fifth rate because, well, if you don't, you're never going to get into a ship bigger than a fifth rate yourself. 
Oh, and that's the beautiful thing. As I mentioned, if you want, to, you can no longer undercrew a ship. There used to be a minimum and maximum crew per ship. Now you have to have a certain amount of crew to crew a ship. There is no minimum crew on ship. And um, if you don't have it, you can't sail that ship. And the reason we undercrewed is because where the bigger guns give you more damage, more damage allowed you to pick on bigger ships. Picking on bigger ships allowed you to get more experience. Getting more experience allowed you to slog your way through that incredibly large amount of experience that you had to get to reach max rank. And then not only max rank, but you have to unlock all the knowledge boxes. There's five of them on every ship. And getting that fifth box is like going to Admiral again. But hey, uh, <laughs> Uh, what's math? Why why do we need to worry about math? I mean We tried this on our server and it seemed like good plan and I mean No one objected. Of course, we didn't let anyone see these mechanics to where they could object to it But we we did kind of give them cliff notes of what our idea was um, and you know reading off those cliff notes and knowing these devs, I objected. And I was told that, oh, it's, it's, it's going to be a good patch. Everyone's excited about this patch. Everyone's really interested and they're going to come back. Now, this is a patch that was um, supposed to come out in April, right? Well, it is, uh, it's launched today. It's May 15th. So halfway through May. They delayed it because uh, Game Labs... Uh, had to get Valve to approve their new DLC. And one of their new DLCs is a combat trade ship. It's a ship that can defend itself while carrying cargo. Um, a few things reported. It's been reported to me from other players that that ship cannot actually dock in hostile ports, which... That is the hallmark of a trade ship. It can dock in hostile ports. Okay, so it's not a trade ship. And then the other thing is, you launched a combat trade ship the same time you created safe zones on almost every single coast where you'd be, you would be trading from. So now you don't even need cannons and you don't need to have a combat ship. But you launched a $50 combat trade ship and then made it so you don't need it. I mean, is it just me, or... Was this maybe not very well thought through? Okay, now... This is taking way too long. How does Awasa have 700 crew? I mean, these things used to have 500 crew. Uh, now they have 700. Hmm. Uh, gun, let's talk about cannons. I did an analysis on gun damage because yesterday you wanted to run 18 pound mediums because they had a higher damage per minute than the longs. Longs took atrociously long time to load in the mediums. The mediums could pin and the mediums had a good damage. Um, basically best in class damage. Well, they have now changed gun damage, so now you do want to run max caliber guns. Um, medium guns and long guns have the same reload time and the same damage. Uh, every caliber is identical in reload and damage. Go figure. I mean, long guns obviously are, are uh, just like medium guns. I mean, that's why they have them. I mean... Historically, they were made out of brass and all that, but eh, forget that. Accurate details, we shouldn't be concerned with that. Um, and then the rare guns. The Bloomfields and the Navy guns, same thing. Exact same damage, exact same um, reload. Um, the Navies and the Bloomfields are the same except for their accuracy. I mean, we have laser-like accuracy now. Look at this. We could... Oh, you know, I might as well try this. 
I'm, I'm trying to figure out why we have laser light. Why do we need this laser light accuracy? Can we actually demask now? I mean, the devs don't actually tell you. You have to figure this out for yourself because they they prefer you to dis their mechanics and it's not like he's even gonna hurt me at all I mean if I can demask again I can basically sit there and do this forever because there is no trade-off it's not like he is going to um, not like he's gonna hurt me anymore to used to be your trade-off in demasking someone was they could damage your hull while you're trying to think at their mask but, I mean, phew, good luck damaging my hope, bud. If I can demask you, well, you're just going to be dead in the water. And uh, I guess I'll get to shoot a stationary object. Because, uh, that'll be fun. I, I just don't know why we have laser-like accuracy again. This is the accuracy we needed for... Uh, destroying someone's mask. Why do we have it? Except maybe to... I mean, these devs, they, they, they swing back and forth. So maybe we can demask the ball again. I, I don't know. I mean, it... I may have to run away from this guy just to escape battle. I mean, I'm not going to be with all every gun. How immune the gun damage is. Really? I mean, should he, should I wake up here in 45 minutes and find my hull has got problems? I'll just repair and it'll be going to ride his rain in a couple minutes. I mean, this is just a wonderful, uh, you get all the benefits, it's like a mobile game. We, we make this game for people who, you know, need it easy. I, I have no idea. Apparently the devs thought this was a good plan. I mean, uh, just their master. Oh. oh, tons of he health. I, I can do this all day. It's, um, well, I guess if I run into the turf on my deck, I, yeah. That's a real threat, dying to that turf. Isn't it a great game when you're, when you're worried about dying to a circle rather than the threat that's right off your side? I mean, every British sailor in the 1700s was very concerned about dying to the mythical circle. I mean, they talked about it in hushed, reverent tones all the time. Boy, I miss this accuracy. This, this is lovely accuracy. You, you could not do this yesterday. It, it was not possible to get this kind of accuracy yesterday. was a thing, demasking his ball. I would practice this a lot and you know, got, got pretty skillful at it. I better slow down. I, I don't really want to run out of the circle. We got a good way to uh, This circle will start shrinking after a bit and um, we got 40 mast heads. Yeah. So uh, last year, you could demast with about 27 mast hits when they were at full sail. Oh, see, battle zone is shrinking. 
That's why I wanted to turn. I do not want to die to battle zone. Oh, I got chain loaded. Oh, okay. Maybe I can demast him with chain. Try it. Load the heaviest guns. Laser accuracy. Laser ship. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't really. I'm just a battle barge. I'm a fortress. You can't touch me. I mean, this is typical game labs, really. Um, go out a patch that you call good and. Um, your players and when they disagree with you verbally abuse them and ban them from your discord and your um, forums because that's how the Russians do it oh I'm sorry they're Ukrainian how well, they act like Russians if you don't want to be called Russian don't don't act like Russian. Yeah. Maybe that's unfair of me, but yeah. This is a product that I bought in 2019. I played 5,000 hours of it. I, I, um, whether I, I paid my dues. I, uh, paid my dues to, um, get good and then uh they changed my product that i bought so yeah i'm i'm more than a little bit perturbed at them and here's some of the points of this you notice that um his hit points are fine my hit points are fine this is definitely a a game that um having better luck hitting this mask with ball I feel you know despite the fact that you know it's chain it's supposed to be like much wider easier to hit it doesn't seem to be but I can slow it down if I can drop that mask. It would be nice if the... if the... ball... If they got their aim off. You have to aim the... aim it. Uh, well that's not the gun there. Game Labs has this problem in that... Look! My whole... I, I'm just sitting here. Yesterday. Yesterday, this. 
I, I would be in trouble by now. My hull would be severely compromised and I would be sinking if I were doing this yesterday. And I, I appreciate that trade-off. Having to make that decision of do I demast him or do I to disable him? Because you can only repair sail or hull every 12 minutes. Okay? You have to make that decision and if in the first five minutes I dropped your mast, you've lost a considerable amount of maneuverability. I mean, you're practically dead in the water without a front mast. Um, but hey, we made it so that good players who practiced for hours and hours and hours and hours and practiced demasting, they no longer should have that, that privilege because it's a privilege, it's not a skill that they earned, or practiced, or worked hard for. It, 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 it's not a skill, it is a privilege, and you should not have that privilege to uh, win based on skill. Apparently, you shouldn't even win based on... Um, apparently, you shouldn't even have privilege to uh, win based on... I, I mean, this is... I mean, here, here's a full broadcast. I moved the dial a little bit. I don't have to maneuver or anything. I'm just gonna go full sail because, as you can see, apparently masts are immune to damage. I've got over 99 mast hits, uh, even by um, yesterday's standards. One of these masts should have dropped, but apparently, hey, we couldn't do that. So. I guess what we're supposed to do is we're go, supposed to go to the historical, accurate way of taking a ship now. And that is to just board. Close and board and engage. But there's a, there's a problem. They raised all the crew count. And, um... Fire! Then they changed all the perks. And, um, you know, German Defender is now mixed in with some new perk. We're gonna try something else. Um, we used to be able to crew shock by grape. And, uh, even through hull armor you could crew shock. You don't have to... So, last year, 2022, if you wanted to crew shock, grape someone, you needed to deplete their armor to a certain point. You know, the outside the outside planking or the stern and bow. Um, this year, um, I've been able to just kill 300 crew, being really close and wiping out their, just shooting through their armor, and you know, it. I actually lost a, a ship because a player did that to me. He, the crowd control in this game was overpowered. You can wind shadow, you can sail shock them so that they can't turn their yards for, I think, 30 seconds. So, 30 seconds, then you swing around and you grape them through their armor. And so then you crowd control shock them for a minute. And they can't do anything. They can't fire back. They can't turn their rudder. There's nothing they can do once you crew shock them. I'm curious to see if those mechanics have changed. Um, Sixteen. Now you gotta get three hundred to crew shock. I, I really hate the fact that I don't even have to maneuver. All I have to do is sit here. And yeah, yeah, hey, hey, that's realistic. Okay, a third rate, would, this is how you would fight. You just fight broadside to broadside, and that's very realistic. Makes for a lousy game. Makes 
makes for a very lousy game. But I could kill an entire fleet of third rates in 30 minutes of, uh, you know, this yesterday, and I'm nowhere close to Wow, 42 through the stern, and he still has 30% stern armor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Critical strikes they promised would still be devastating and the only way to quickly destroy a first rate. But apparently, it's the only way to kill anything fast now. Unless you are a, a, a fifth rate. So, the, the, the young players who could not crew big ships and didn't have the skill they would get into little ships and they would they would tag and they would do harassing strategies. They'd cross the bow like this and grape and they'd keep tagged in and they'd do disabling stuff. Uh, they would do disabling stuff so that you um, the big players could catch up. So now the new players who are unskilled and don't know really how to play this game, they're just gonna get killed because that's, that's what big ships do to lift ships now. They just kill them. Because obviously bigger ships have bigger caliber guns. They do more damage. They have more hit points. You don't have a chance. So, good job, Game Labs. You made it so that dumb players in big ships always win. Good players in little ships always lose. Um, I'm just trying to figure out why you haven't taken the next step to get this in the iOS, you know, Apple Play Store, uh, Google Store, come on. Just give us a lock target button and shoot the guns button and, you know, any six-year-old can play this. In fact, my six-year-old was playing it today on the computer. So. So, um... I, I find this quite distasteful, objectionable. This is not the game I paid to play. I mean, to be honest with you, when I started this game in December, January 2019, just to pass that stupid final exam, I counted it. I, I about wanted to throw my keyboard through the monitor, it was so frustratingly difficult. I mean, the joke was, it's a tutorial that only PvP masters could win. When I started counting how many times I tried to pass that exam, after I started counting, it was over 50. Now, my wife and mother-in-law were sitting there going, why are you doing this? Well, I, I, I like games that have a high skill threshold because that means if you put your time in, you put your time in, you can be a good player. You can get to the top echelons. But, um, all that's gone now. 
now it's not a matter of being top echelon, it's a matter of just having the big ship, which on the free to play server, where your progress is wiped every six months, and well, only the people who know life this thing 12 hours a day are gonna have the big ships. And apparently, it's not just first rate immunity mechanic, it's any ship two rates above wins. Okay, so. If you're in a 5th rate, then a 7th rate can't hurt you. If you're in a 4th rate, then a 6th rate can't hurt you. If you're in a 3rd rate, then a... Uh, if you're in a 4th rate, then... Well, obviously you need to have a 5th rate. Because a 6th won't do it. If you're in a 2nd rate, then a 4th rate won't hurt you. If you're in a first rate, then the only things that can hurt you are second rates or first rates. I mean, sure, historical makes it harder for new players. Wow, I finally got a devastating strike. So, so over tuned. I mean, this is not a player. A player would never have let me have that. By now, the player would have used his superior speed, run away, and repaired. And then it would have taken forever just to get to the point where I could eat his core up. Well, it's been a long video. I mean, yeah, I really wanted this to be like 10, 15 minutes, but uh, no, 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 no. Well, we can't do that. We gotta make everything in the game take so much longer. So much longer. I mean, Game Labs uh, isn't letting new players join the war server because it's a mistake server, and we players ruin this server. As in, well, the Russians got into a pissing match, match with the Ukrainians, who were in Pirate Nation. The Ukrainians kicked the Russian rear, and Russia lost all their ports and became a protected species, and was given a few ports so that they had some, because Russia doesn't have a capital area, because Russia was never historically in the Bahamas, but hey, let's forget historical accuracy there. Uh, oh, yes, and I should tell you, at least on my server, at least on my client, on my client, there is a um, perk that gives you more reload speed if you're fighting a player, an enemy with a pirate flag. So, um, yeah, it's a discriminatory thing. All right, let's see how much uh, experience that got me. Oh, how much experience does this get? A hundred and sixty-four experience. Wow. Oh, wow. I went from 12,000 to 43,000. Oh, if I could only get to 50,000, I'll get 20 combat medals. Oh, you see all this lovely green goo around every single coastline? I mean, you can travel here, 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 here. You can circumnavigate this map without ever, 
ever having to be in fear of being attacked. So haul your trade goods from there to there. You, you'll never get attacked because you, you're not allowed to be attacked. So why would you need a combat trade ship? Um, it doesn't make sense. Oh, oh. Remedios. So, they, they implemented this thing, and now a uh, Roger clan took a flag from there to there, and the Spaniards could not, the Spaniards could not interrupt the flag. They could only fight in the hostility. They couldn't stop it. Oh, this is a wonderful mechanic. It doesn't help trade people. You don't need combat traders. You don't get any good AI uh, NPCs to kill in this area, in this green area. Um, you have to go out here to find the good AI, or over here, or over here, where, where PVPers will be. So, in other words, you have to leave your port, say Santiago de Cuba, and you have to sail 15 minutes, and hope you can find AI, and then look over here. Now, you know there's going to be players over here, so, you know, if the wind starts blowing from the north, you're going to have problems. So, how did you fix this? I mean, back then, you could have stayed right there in port, and AI will come up to you, you tag it, you attack it, and then when you're out of the battle, you have 15 seconds of immunity, you're invisible, you duck right back into the port. Why did we need this green goo? I don't know. I, I, I really want to know what liquor the... Russians were drinking when they came up with this idea. I mean, the Ukrainians or whatever. Game labs. What were they thinking? Really, someone tell me. There's, there's no... There's no game design sense to this, but maybe I'm wrong. You guys tell me. That's all I got for you, because I'm at my wit's end.